Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Strixhaven Draft League. Now, Blade Historian is probably the most powerful card in this pack, um, but it does kind of lock us into playing Lorehold very hard. Uh, interesting cards in this pack that I wouldn't mind taking. Bookworm, we found out, was excellent. Thanks, Oz. Storm Kiln Artist, I do want to play that deck, but it's because it's basically Storm, but I think we got to go with the most powerful option. Flunk, also really good removal. A lot of good stuff in this pack, but we'll go Blade Historian. Oh, man. I feel like I've been recording nonstop. <laughs> um, doing the back-to-back -back streams uh, for the birthday stream and then the, the week uh, regular stream day kind of threw off my recording schedule. It was something that like I knew would probably be difficult, but I did not fully have an appreciation for. So this is Gifts Ungiven plus Chord of Calling without Convoke. Um, I think we take Increasing Vengeance, just because while there is some really good green cards in this pack, especially like Quandrix Cultivator, which is really, really good, I think we just take Increasing Vengeance. There's a good chance that, like, we get cut out of red, <laughs> which would suck a lot, but I'm going to take Increasing Vengeance, because just imagine if we got Lightning Bolt and had Increasing Vengeance, how crazy that would be. Um, I'm going to take Tome Shredder. Tome Shredder is a card that I have been undervaluing for this deck. There's a lot of uh, synergy with cards going into exile in red and white, specifically other than just exile cards going, cards leaving your grave. And Tome Shredder is the repeatable way to do that. That's actually a pretty decent payoff, so we'll take Tome Shredder. Gift of Estates. Uh, this card looks amazing in paper, and uh, even more so in foil. So highly recommend if you like this card, get this printing of it in foil if you can find it. Um, I'm going to take... Relic Sloth will probably wheel. Gift of Estates is not a good card. <laughs> uh, Stone Rise Spirit's pretty decent. Uh, so is Expanded Anatomy, and so is the Campus. So I think it's between these three cards. Um, I think I'm going to go with the Spirit. The Campus is probably the next highest on the list, and the lesson... This is a really good lesson to have in this one, but we don't have any learn card. All right, I'm going to take Expanded Anatomy, and we'll put that in the sideboard. I tend not to take these cards... I know what cards are important to take, but I frequently pick them in the wrong order, so. I will try and correct that at least somewhat today. Alright, in this pack we've got Confront the Past, there's Reflective Golem, uh, also Illustrious Historian. Illustrious Historian uh, is just a aggressive bear that um, you can make a creature out of the grave with. Dueling Coach is better in the Silver Quill deck, although we do have a Tome Shredder and it does synergize there. Reflective Golem is better when you're doing pump spells that target your own creatures. So, like, if we get that Defiant Strike to wheel, Reflective Golem's actually quite good. I think I'm going to go with Dueling Coach. It's a little bit higher on the mana curve than I like, but I'll take it. Uh, I do like Star Pupil. Thrill of Possibility might be the pick. Or even Zephyr Boots. This equipment's actually been quite good. I've not gotten a chance to draft this yet. I'm um, passing up another Lorehold Campus to do so. Right now, I'm... Almost mono red. I think I'm going to take the Zephyr Boots. Wow, black is wide open. Maybe we should be in black white. Because I don't think I'm going to take Reconstruct History. If I'm going to be in black white, I think Lash of Malice is the most important card. We'll see across the next couple packs what's open. Guiding Voice is great in red white or black white. Um, I very, very much underrated this common. The one white mana effectively just put a 1-1 counter and draw a card. So that card could go in either deck that we could be drafting here. Alright, first day of class is good. Pest summoning, we could play if we're playing black. Expel, I... Expel is good, I just don't think... I'm not a huge fan of it. Beaming Defiance seems like a great combat trick. I'm gonna take Beaming Defiance. Because we're definitely playing white right now. So our picks are Access Tunnel or Biblioplex Assistant. Access Tunnel seems nice when we have cards like Blade Historian. Um, Biblioplex Assistant can buy back some of our lower cost instants and sorceries. We have really heavy mana costs. I think I gotta go with the Assistant. Another Assistant or an Unwilling Ingredient. I don't think I would play two of these cards, so I'm gonna go with Unwilling Ingredient on the off chance that we're playing black. Relic Sloth or Professor's Warning. Um, I'm gonna go with Relic Sloth. Spined Karak, Infused with Vitality, or Big Play. I'll take big play and put it in the sideboard. 
Secret Rendezvous or Dragon's Approach? I don't think Secret Rendezvous is playable, so I will take Dragon's Approach, although I'm probably not playing that either. And finally, an Eye Twitch. Okay. Let's see. Heated Debate, Lorehold, Pledge Mage. Fury Calm, Snarl. This would help us potentially splash to go three colors, because it is actually quite good for mana fixing. The problem is I would be passing up on Excavation, Pledge Mage, Heated Debate, or the Silver Quill Pledge Mage. I'm going to take the fixing. Stone Rain. And a foil one, too. That looks awesome. I wonder what this card looks like in paper. I'm going to take the Stone Rain because it's super mean. I think Stonebinder's Familiar is actually the pick. Uh, or Humiliate, even. Or Spirit Summoning. But I'm going to take the Stone Rain. Oh, whoops. Hang on. Put the red cards back, why don't we? So unless, like, red just completely dries up, we're probably playing Lore Hold. All right. Um, in this pack, there's Enthusiastic Study, Eager First Year, and Spirit Summoning. Uh, I have at least one Learn card and one Lesson. Team Pennant is fine. Team Pennant on, like, a creature when we have Blade Historian out seems pretty good. I'm going to take Spirit Summoning because it's kind of a creature and a non-creature spell. And I've even main decked one of these before from a lack of playables, so I think that's the best card for us to take here. Inquisition of Kozilek. Oh, it's two tickets. I would take it because the art's awesome, but I think I have to actually pick cards that are good in this deck. Uh, Silver Quill Pledge Mage or Storm Kiln Artist? I think I take the Storm Kiln Artist, actually. It doesn't exactly fit in this deck, but it will help a little bit. We do need some lower drop creatures. Let's see, Revitalize, Reconstruct History, Academic Probation... Choose a non-land card name, opponent can't cast spells with the chosen name, or choose a non-land permanent and detain it. I don't think that card is good. It is like temporary removal, it's similar to a frost, um, but I take Stonebound Mentor here. Revitalize is okay. Uh, there's a Tome Shredder, there's a Silver Quill ma uh, camper Campus, there is Exhilarating Elocution. I think we take Illustrious Historian here, because like I said, we do need some lower drop creatures. And Tome Shredder is great, but... We definitely need some creatures to come down early. Could you imagine if we get to reverberate Stone Rain against an opponent that gets mana screwed? How tilting that would be. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. We've got Reduced to Memory, Enthusiastic Study, Environmental Science, and Stone Rise Spirit. Enthusiastic Study is a great learn spell. We only have Expanded Anatomy right now. I think I'm going to take Enthusiastic Study. Environmental Sciences is better in the slower decks. Or three color decks. Probably should take Stone Rise Spirit. And Reduced to Memory is okay, but I think this is our best pick. I'm going to put that in the sideboard unless I need it, the Spirit Summoning. Alright, in this pack we have Eager First Year, and that's really about it. Pillar Drop Rescuer is fine, but Eager First Year is going to be better in this deck. Alright, Lorehold Pledge Mage came around. Divine Gambit is only playable if your opponent is hellbent and i really don't want to be playing it <laughs> so we'll take the pledge mage uh stone binders familiar i think it's fine we already have a tome shredder so we'll take the familiar we have a few cards that um do relate to exile i think i think we take i think we take eager first year over thrilling discovery thrilling discovery is pretty good but I think we need some more creatures. And Eager First Year is a, a pretty decent aggressive creature. It can frequently trade up unless you're putting this first strike. Um, I'm not going to take Secret Rendezvous, even if it's foil. I will consider Reconstruct History. We can buy back Stone Rain. Um, I think I would rather have First Day of Class than the Rare Lesson. Although this is like temporary removal, it could actually get us... Alright, I'll take the Lesson. Access Tunnel I'll put in the sideboard. I don't think I can play it. And square up, not in our colors. Yeah, I think the... I may be underrating the Academic Probation, at least the ability. Fervent Mastery, Triple Gamble is not really playable in Limited. Show of Confidence is very good. The problem is it's way better in the Silver Quill deck than it is in the Lorehold deck. Inkling Summoning is not bad. I think we go with Lorehold Apprentice, though. It's kind of tough. Because Show of Confidence is very tempting. If I had, like, another Guiding Voice or another, like, Defiant Strike or something like that, I'd probably take Show of Confidence. But we'll take the Apprentice for now. Silver Quill Silencer. Um, I'm going to take Show of Confidence because I just got past one. Like, if we can get a Make Your Mark, it gets better. 
So we'll take Show of Confidence. We can take a 1-1 one, one with Haste, a Smite the Monstrous, a Revitalize, an Introduction to Prophecy. We're starting to get to a decent number of creatures. We have a couple of Learn spells, right? Guiding Voice, Enthusiastic Study, that's about it. Hall Monitor could allow us to get in for damage by saying specific creatures can't block. It isn't uncommon. All right, I'll take the Hall Monitor. All right, uh, let's see, Clever Lumamancer, not really. Sudden Breakthrough is a pretty good combat trick, can also temporarily fix our mana if we need it. Otherwise, there's Thrilling Discovery. I do like Thrilling Discovery. I think I like it more than the combat trick. I don't really think we can play Clever Lumamancer. I think that card's more of a constructed card. So take Thrilling Discovery. Let's see, a third Eager First Year or a Stone Rise Spirit. I don't think we take Relic Sloth. Stone Rise Spirit flies. Eager First Year. We already have two of. I think I take the First Year. Um, I will take Expel. I don't think I can play two Reconstruct Histories. Dark Ritual. How you doing, Dark Ritual? Reflective Golem. We have like one or two spells that we actually want to target onto Reflective Golem. Maybe three. I think we take the Stone Rise Spirit. Um, Infuriate, Guiding Voice, or Make Your Mark. I think Guiding Voice is the best uh, like creature pump spell out of these. Infuriate is the most power. Make Your Mark has like sacrifice or trading shenanigans involved but guiding voice just being like card advantage is good show of confidence went all the way around so i'm gonna take another show of confidence first day of class yeah i could see this card being good in this deck we have a few cheap creatures uh, i guess i'll take revitalize don't know if i'm playing it though unwilling ingredient I think if I was playing black at this point, I would probably play Spiteful Squad, so I'll put that in the sideboard. Uh, Spectre of the Fens, Spring Main Servin. With three eager first years, I think Show of Confidence is going to be really strong. The problem that I have been running into when I play Lorehold is that I try and be over, like, way too overly aggressive. Uh, Witherbloom Campus, we'll put in the sideboard. Um, so we have three lessons to learn, and that's it. Fruit creatures separately. Let's take a look at what we're dealing with here. I think Storm Kiln Artist, possibly Dueling Coach. Like, Show of Confidence Guiding Voice does synergize with Dueling Coach. I don't know if we need Biblioplex Assistant. Um, Reconstruct History, we have, like, no artifacts that will go to the grave other than Biblioplex Assistant, so I think we actually cut that. I like the combat tricks. Revitalize, maybe we sideboard against an aggressive deck. I'm not 100% on that one. I've got to cut three cards, and they probably should be like two non-creatures and a creature. I think I cut Illustrious Historian, maybe Beaming Defiance, although the Hexproof on Beaming Defiance could matter. Increasing Vengeance can be good if we hit something like Guiding Voice. And even though Expel is our only removal, I think we're going to have to rely on our combat tricks kind of to be removal. Um, so we'll put the Fury Column in, add Basics, and I think we've got ourselves a deck. So I'll see you guys in round one. All right, we will be on the play for round one. This hand is almost good. We need a land. We need basically two lands to make this hand good. I think we mulligan, try and get something a little bit faster. This works. So we lead on Stonebinder's Familiar, we put back a mountain. We can just show of confidence uh, right away, and then we'll have something to exile for Tome Shredder. So we kind of have a curve here. And we'll end up with two three threes if I do it right. This is all depending on what we draw, of course. Want to play Prismari Campus. We draw Lorehold Pledge Mage. Um, yeah. So show of confidence. Go to combat, attack for two, when it goes to 18, they untap, play a forest into a Scurrid colony. We untap and draw Guiding Voice, play a Tome Shredder, go to combat, attack for two, see if we can bait them into the block. We can't. 
So Exile Show of Confidence, counter on Stonebinder, counter on Tome Shredder. I would really like to draw a land. Any untapped land will do. Opponent's going to attack us for two. We draw a Stonebound Mentor. We don't have any two mana lessons, do we? We do have Academic Probation, but we can't cast it this turn. I think what that means is we play the Pledge Mage and get in for six. Having the first strike could matter a lot. Opponent goes to nine. Opponent plays a Quandrix Campus, so they are playing the three mana, or the three color deck. I find that the, like, big spells from Prismari are, like, much more easily accessed if you splash for green and use some of the Quandrix ramp cards. Opponent gets Elemental Summoning and Spirit Summoning. Then they're going to Mage Duel our Tome Shredder. Okay, they did not attack. We untap and draw a Mountain. So play a Mountain. Let's Guiding Voice. Uh, we'll take Expanded Anatomy. Actually, if I had taken Academic Probation, that would have been very close to lethal, but not quite. Expanded Anatomy here. They have to block this turn. Go to combat. Attack for 10. They chump. They take 5. Go to 4. I think I've been underrating this card. Or if I've been taking this card, I've not been taking the correct cards to synergize with it. <laughs> Okay, opponent cultivates. I mean, if they just cultivate and play spirit summoning, that's not enough. Opponent would need spirit summoning plus a second mage duel. Or like an unsummon here. I mean, I guess this does actually keep them alive because we didn't draw a non-creature spell. But they chop the 5-5. Five, five, they take 3 and go to 1. Play stonebound mentor. Pass the turn. I don't think they can have a wrath. I don't know of any red wraths in this format. It's probably Elemental Summoning. They play Quandrix Pledge Mage, Prismari Pledge Mage, and Cody. We untap, we draw planes. So, go to combat. Swing out. You gotta keep the pressure on. Opponent chumps, trades, chumps, and blocks. Okay. So Cody survives. We'll leave the planes in hand. It's just a little bit of a bluff. We only curve out at five, so should be okay. So opponent is going to add a bunch of mana and then cast elemental summoning and ca try and cascade into something, I think. They'd have to hit something pretty good. Aether Helix picking up Scurrid Colony. They cascade into Eureka Moment. They're going to bounce our Stonebinders familiar. But I don't think that's good enough. And it is not. Alright. Um, yeah, run it back. Let's have another good start like that. Alright, this is not as aggressive, but can still be quite good. I'm gonna keep. Opponent plays a Quandrix Campus, tapped. We draw planes. Play planes, pass the turn. Opponent plays an island. We untap and draw first year. Play a mountain. Play first year. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a Quandrix Pledge Mage. We draw planes. Play planes. Go to combat. Attack for two. Okay, no trades for the opponent. They take two. Play the first year. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. They play a land. They go to combat and they pass. We untap. Draw planes. So let's Thrilling Discovery. Magecraft triggers. We're going to discard two planes, play a mountain, go to combat, attack for six. Okay, opponent takes six, goes to 12. Play eager first year. Okay, opponent eureka moment. And they put a counter on their pledge mage. They untap. I really hope we draw guiding voice. They play a Manifestation Sage, then play a land. We untap. Draw a mountain. Play a mountain. Play Relic Sloth. Pass the turn. Opponent finally finds red mana. It's going to be a big spell. Don't like this. They play Cody. Then they cultivate. Okay. They play the forest, so they put an island in their hand. And pass. 
We draw Increasing Vengeance. Play a Mountain. Play Stonebound Mentor. Pass the turn. No attacks. Opponent untaps. They activate Cody. Oh gosh. So they're making a whole bunch of elementals. Increasing Vengeance is not reverberate, so we can't actually just copy this. They curate. They make elementals. They play an island. And they pass. We untap. We draw a show of confidence. All right. So play a planes. Hold control. How much mana do I have? I would need nine to flashback increasing vengeance. But I should be able to show of confidence holding priority. Get a whole bunch of triggers. And my opponent is going to heated debate. So we definitely increasing vengeance now. Okay. More Magecraft triggers. We're going to go same target so that Relic Sloth survives. We cannot flashback Increasing Vengeance. So that survives. That gets a counter. That does four damage and doesn't kill it. Then Show of Confidence does actually copy. Um, put the counter here. More Magecraft triggers. Another counter here. Go to combat. Swing for the fences. Opponent has to block basically everything. Okay, we're going to kill the Fractal and not the Manifestation Sage. They're going to take four, and we definitely come out behind on this trade. <laughs> so we're going to need a really good top deck that we can Increasing Vengeance. Opponent casts Field Trip. They get a Fractal Summoning. They're going to cast an enormous Fractal Summoning using Cody's mana. X6. And they cast Serpentine Curve. That's pretty good. They're going to attack us for 10. We take 10. Untap. We draw Lorehold Apprentice, and that is not going to be good enough. Okay. So on to game three. I don't think we make any adjustments. I think we just run it back. I'll play first. This is okay. Not great, but okay. We'll keep. So I'm going to lead on Fury Calm Snarl. Tapped. Past the turn. Put a plays an island. We draw a mountain. Play a mountain. Play the first year. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. They play an island into a Prismari Pledge Mage. We draw Guiding Voice. So play a planes. Play the Lorehold Pledge Mage. Pass the turn. No attacks. They untap. They play a forest and they cultivate which will allow their creature to attack this turn if they want to. I don't think they should, but they might. Okay. All right. Um, if we wait until next turn, Show of Confidence becomes amazing because we could, like, Guiding Voice, Academic Probation, Show of Confidence. I think we just go for it now. Guiding Voice here. And we'll take Expanded Anatomy. Expanded Anatomy here. Counters. Stuff gets bigger. Go to combat. Attack for 11. Next turn, if we don't like what we draw, we can Thrilling Discovery and then Show of Confidence. Give both of our guys Vigilance and make them huge. Opponent plays a Manifestation Sage and gets a 6-6. That's pretty good. We untap. We draw Dueling Coach. So if I were to Thrilling Discovery, this would become a 4-3. This would become a 5-4. Then we could Show of Confidence. And they would both get very large. But we could just play Dueling Coach. And then next turn, like, repeatedly Anthem. The problem is they're going to get better creatures. We could just swing with the First Strike. If we did the Thrilling Discovery play, we potentially could draw more gas that way. I think I'm actually going to do that. So Thrilling Discovery. Put our triggers up. Okay. We will discard the Mountain and the Coach. Play a Mountain. Show of Confidence. The Pledge Mage. So we get to copy this. 
We just put all the counters on the Pledge Mage, I think. Go to combat. Attack for 8 with Vigilance and First Strike. They chump. That's reasonable. Pass the turn. Maybe we should have attacked with the first year, but not 100% on that. Opponent casts Eureka Moment. We're going to draw some cards. They put a forest into play and play an island. Then they pass. We untap. Draw first day of class. Um. So cast first day of class. Triggers. I could clone this, but I'm going to take Academic Probation, and I can potentially clone that next turn. And what I can do this turn instead is play Stone Rise Spirit, which can get a 1-1 counter in haste. Go to combat. I'm just going to attack in the air. Okay. Hit my opponent to 7. Pass the turn. I didn't want my opponent to be able to block the pledge, like double block the Pledge Mage and then heated debate to kill it, which is what I was trying to play around there. They're going to Aether Helix, picking up Manifestation Sage, and putting Pledge Mage back in her hand. Are they dead? It looks like they're dead. They're going to Mage Duel to kill the Stone Rise Spirit. Are they still dead? I think they're still dead. Wow. Probation increasing vengeance. There's no way you attack here. Not against a prowess threat. Yeah, that is definitely correct. All right. We even showed you the combat trick we'd win with, too. We draw a show of confidence, so... Choose target non-land permanent until your next turn it can't attack or block and its activated abilities can't be activated. So hold priority, cast academic probation, increasing vengeance, copy it, change the targets to the fractal, can't attack or block, can't attack or block, swing seven, which is exactly lethal. Nice! All right, I'll see you guys in round two. All right, we'll be on the play for round two, and I'm actually going to keep this hand. Hopefully my opponent doesn't have a uh, removal spell they can use quickly. Play planes, pass the turn. Opponent leads on Lorehold Campus. We draw planes. Play a mountain, play Stone Rise Spirit. Pass the turn. All right, they play Archway Commons. We untap, draw first day of class. Play planes. I'm going to go with Enthusiastic Study. And I'm going to take Spirit Summoning. Go to combat. Hit them for four. Okay. Opponent untaps. They play a Swamp. Cram Session. They gain all that life back. And they learn nothing. They discard Defend the Campus. Interesting. We untap and draw Zephyr Boots. So play a Mountain. Guiding Voice. They may regret discarding that Smite the Monstrous. Get Expanded Anatomy. Go to combat. Hit them for four. They untap. They play a forest. Deadly brew. They make a sack. Unfortunate. Are they just five color removal? Play a mountain. Uh, first day of class. Learn academic probation. Play spirit summoning. It's a 1-1 one -one counter in haste. Go to combat. Hit them for four. They untap. Opponent plays retriever phoenix. Learning elemental summoning. We untap. Draw Dueling Coach. Play Dueling Coach. Counter on the Spirit. Go to Combat. Attack for 5. No blocks for the opponent. They go to 7. Play Zephyr Boots. Pass the turn. They untap. If all they do is cast Elemental Summoning, I think we've got them. If we draw a land, we need, a, we need to draw an untapped land for that. They play a land. 5 mana. They reconstruct History. They tapped too much for it, though, I think. So they're going to Deadly Brew. So we sack Dueling Coach, and then they die. We untap, draw planes, play planes, cast Academic Probation, say Defend the Campus, and we show of confidence. Okay, and we get them. Nice! All right, game two. Um, I don't think we make any adjustments. I think we just run it back. I really underrated Academic Probation. Holy crap. Card's great. I've reversed my position. All right, we're on the draw. We might be able to keep this off the strength of Stone Rain if we draw a land. We need a land for this hand to work. Uh, I think keeping this is incorrect, but I'm going to try, because my opponent does have a bit of a greedy mana base. Play a Mountain, pass the turn. Opponent untaps. They play a Plains, then pass. We draw a second show of confidence. Play a Plains, pass the turn. Opponent untaps. They play a Mountain. What color is most important for them to have? 
I imagine it's green. So let's stone rain them. Pass the turn. They untap. They play a planes. They still have plays. This is unfortunate. Letter of acceptance is pretty good. I should not have kept on stone rain alone. We draw Tome Shredder. So play Stonebound Mentor. Pass the turn. Between this and Tome Shredder, we can start manipulating our top decks, perhaps. If we draw a land, we can play Dueling Coach and then attack. Opponent attacks us for three. This is fine. We go to four, or 14, excuse me. Put a plays an Accomplished Alchemist. We draw planes. Play the planes. Go to combat. Attack for three. No blocks. They're just going to take it. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to play Dueling Coach after the fact. Counter here. This does turn on Defend the Campus if they've got it, which is a bit unfortunate, but I think it's fine. Black, red. Cram session. Okay. Put a gains four life so they can add four red mana with Accomplished Alchemist. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not blocking this. I'm not letting them add eight mana. Add four red and a white. They play Elemental Summoning. And then one white mana. Detention Vortex? Okay, Detention Vortex. We untap. We draw Hull Monitor. So play the Pledge Mage. Play Hall Monitor. Pass the turn. They untap. They go to combat and attack for four. We'll take four. We go to seven. They add a blue mana. And they play Zimone. We untap and draw Fury Calm Snarl. So... Don't reveal anything. Destroy Detention Vortex. Pass the turn. We still can't really attack. We're probably going to have to do some chumping this turn. Okay, opponent on taps. They cultivate. You know, had they not had this letter of acceptance, they would not be playing anything this game. Just how many land drops they missed. So that stone rain really could have done it. All right, opponent tutors up a swamp and an island, plays the swamp, plays the island. They go to combat, and they attack for four... I'm going to jump here, okay, we untap, draw a mountain, play a mountain, hmm, let's, let's play Tome Shredder, and then pass. As much as I want to use this enthusiastic study offensively, I think I need to use it defensively to take out that token that they keep attacking with. Okay, opponent is going to activate Zimone to draw a card, they play a Quandrix Campus, they go to combat, no attacks. Okay, on their end step, we'll exile Stone Rain. We get to scry. Lorehold Apprentice to the bottom. 1-1 one, one counter on Tome Shredder. We untap. We draw a Thrilling Discovery, which honestly right now is not so thrilling. So, Enthusiastic Study. Trigger. Make it big. We'll get Expanded Anatomy. Play that as well. Go to combat. Attack for nine Trample and Vigilance. And First Strike. So my opponent is probably going to have to use removal on that. We can cast Thrilling Discovery to just gain life and then double show of confidence to make a huge board. So depending on whether or not my opponent tries to use removal and get aggressive, we might actually be able to uh, kill them. Depending on what happens here. Three mana, two mana... Never mind. Four mana. Nope. Changing their mind again. When it goes to combat, nothing. I meant, oh crap, I forgot to activate Tome Shredder there. That's actually a big deal. We draw Eager First Year. So play Eager First Year. Pass the turn. Opponent sacks the letter to draw. Now they can activate Zimone to draw. Yep. Okay. They untap. They play a land. Three mana. For Mila, Crafty Companion. Okay. Then they pass. Activate Tome Shredder. Scry. Zephyr Boots. Um, 
They don't have anything that flies. They have six cards in hand, though. I think it's worth it to try. We untap. Draw Zephyr Boots. Play Zephyr Boots. Equip the Pledge Mage. Go to combat. Attack for four in the air. They have Expel. That's pretty bad. Um, yeah, I can't do anything about that. Okay, so equip the Eager first year. Pass the turn. Opponent's going to put a land from their hand onto the battlefield tapped. They untap. They draw. Play a Lorehold Campus. Four mana. Reconstruct history. They're going to get Expel, Letter of Acceptance, Detention Vortex, and Cram Session. That's pretty good. So they play Letter of Acceptance and they have exactly Expel mana. And the main issue is we have only one creature that can attack. Exile Enthusiastic Study. We get to Scry. Mountain to the bottom. 1-1 one, one counter on Tome Shredder. We untap. Draw a mountain. <sighs> Pass the turn. If we got um another learn spell, we could go get... Oh, what is it called? We could go get Academic Probation, and then say you can't cast Expel, and then kill them. Opponent is going to Tangle Trap to destroy an artifact. Okay, that sucks. I guess I could have showed a show of confidence to give Vigilance an attack, but Tangle Trap would have blown us out there anyway had that happened. So actually, I kind of punted into the right line. Cram Session. They're going to go Learning. Elemental Summoning. They play Cogwork Archivist, which has Reach. Black Green. Opponent plays Deadly Brew. So we sack the 1-1. One, one. Opponent can get back Blacks and gain life. Oh, they can't get back Blacks. They have to get a different permanent back. Okay. Still no attacks. We untap. Draw a Mountain. So, Thrilling Discovery, Magecraft. We will use its ability, discard Mountain Mountain. Play a Plains, play an Eager first year. Pass the turn. No attacks. Um, if we tap the Tome Shredder, they are going to exile it with Expel. So we need to not do that. Opponent draws two cards. We may have lost this and need to... Um, me need just to go to game three. But I'm going to try and play this out. Tanazir Quandrix. All right, that probably does it. Because we just can't, we just can't get past our opponent's creatures. All right, I'm gonna go to game three. Yeah, I think I needed to go for the double show of confidence after the trample spell, but I'm just not 100% sure on that one. I'm gonna bring in Beaming Defiance. I think it's actually probably better than first day of class, if I had to guess. We did keep a pretty bad hand though. Um. Which wouldn't have been so bad if our opponent didn't have that mana of fixing artifact. We would definitely have won that. This hand is garbage. That's a mulligan. This hand is better, but absolutely needs white mana to work. I don't think I can mulligan again, though, so we're going to have to try this. Really, really hope our second, our first draw is a plains. Our second land has to be a plains. If not, we're in deep trouble. Unless our opponent, like, mulligans to three to find a land or something. Okay. Opponent also mulliganed. Play a mountain, pass the turn. If we could top deck planes, planes, I think that would be perfect. When it starts, lore hold campus. Draw guiding voice, which is not a planes, pass the turn. When it untaps, we need two planes right in a row. When it plays a forest, we draw. Not a planes. Oh, that's this match. I'm pretty sure. When it plays a Quandrix campus. Oh my god, if we just drawn white mana. Like our hand is so stacked, but we don't have white mana. This is the problem with playing a two-color deck and keeping a hand with only one color in it. <sighs> All right, that's game. Oh, that's super sad. Wow. Wow. All right, well, I'll see you guys in uh, in round three. All right, round three. I think we've got a mulligan this. If we had even one more land, I'd consider keeping it, but... <sighs> yep. All right, we'll keep this. The back of planes... Opponent leads on planes. We draw Thrilling Discovery. Play Fury Calm Snarl. Don't reveal anything. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Plays a mountain. Plays an eager first year. We untap. Draw Lorehold Pledge Mage. Play Stone Rise Spirit. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. They play a planes. 
They play a Stonebound Mentor. Hit us for two. No blocks. We untap, draw Eager first year, play a Mountain, play Lorehold Pledge Mage, go to combat, hit them for one. Okay. Opponent's turn. Hopefully this Pledge Mage is enough. Yeah, for them to keep back the Eager first year. No blocks. They play their own Pledge Mage. We untap, draw another Eager first year. Hmm. Uh, I think I'm on a thrilling discovery. We need to draw a land, though, for this to be good. We're going to ditch Eager first year and Biblioplex assistant. Okay, get a mountain. Um, then we're going to go ahead and show of confidence. We'll put one copy on Stonerise Spirit and the other copy on Lorehold Pledge Mage. Go to combat. Attack for eight. Dueling Coach is kind of nice. Um, if we draw another land, we can uh, either Eager First Year and Enthusiastic Study, or Enthusiastic Study get our Detain spell. Four mana for our opponent. Combat Professor. Okay. Um, so they're going to give the Pledge Mage 1 0 and Vigilance. They can attack because our only option would be to trade. We'll just take it. Untap. We draw an Eager First Year. Go to combat. Attack with the Pledge Mage. Okay, no blocks. They take three and go to eight. Uh, we're just going to go as wide as we can here, I think. Play the first year. Play the first year. I could have attacked with the Stone Rise Spirit as well, and I might have been able to sneak in a couple more points of damage, but... Okay, pass to our opponent. I would really, really like to draw land, because then we can get our Detain spell, and we should be able to actually get in uh, for maximum damage. Conspiracy Theorist. Whenever attacks, you may pay one and discard a card if you do draw a card. Whenever you discard one or more non-land cards, you may exile one of them from your graveyard. If you do, you may cast it this turn. Interesting. Okay, our opponent is attacking us for eight. I'm actually going to just take this. Uh, I think the only Anthem spell they could have is four mana. We untap. We draw Lorehold Apprentice. That is not what I wanted. Um, If we attack, opponent blocks the... Stone Rise Spirit with Combat Professor. They could chump Lorehold Pledge Mage and block here. We can Enthusiastic Study. They would take three. And if we put it here, we might actually be able to kill them. The alternative is just playing Dueling Coach and putting a counter on Stone Rise Spirit. And then trying to go for a bigger swing the next turn. If we draw on a land, it would have been much easier. I think we I think we play the Dueling Coach. Counter here. Hopefully they don't have Heated Debate. Pass the turn. Study break. Okay, that might actually kill us. But we weren't getting around that. We're going to have to do some blocking next turn. Uh, that is, if we're not already dead, it's going to be close. Oh, they have academic probation as well. Okay, we're dead. Because they can take out one of our blockers, and then no matter how we block, they're going to have enough damage. All right, well, we'll pass turn. This is a loss. Uh, we'll see if they reveal any more information. But it plays planes. Six mana? Rise of Extus. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think it matters how we block, but I can... We'll, we'll let them play it out, because who knows how they'll attack. I think if they just right-click attack all, we're, we're done. But opponent did reveal even more information. We know, like, two more cards that they have. So when it goes to combat, Vigilance is the bird. Yeah, so we can block two three-power creatures, and we take eight. Good to know. Um... I think I may want Beaming Defiance here, and I think I want it over first day of class. First day of class is fine, just think it might be more important. I may actually want Revitalize in this matchup. I think I like it over Biblioplex Assistant. I feel like us being able to draw extra cards here might be important. The life gain, not so much. I'm just playing it as a think twice. Alright, I do want to play first. Oh, this card would be this hand would be great if we had two lands. Mulligan. Alright. We got both of our colors of mana, just two four drops. This is probably way too slow, but the rest of our deck is like under curve of this, so we should be fine as long as we don't just top deck mono lands. Okay, we untap, we draw a pledge mage, excellent. Play a planes, pass the turn. Opponent plays a mountain into a stone rise spirit. We untap, we draw a mountain, play a planes, play lorehold pledge mage, pass the turn. So next turn we'll play Dueling Coach, then we'll play probably Blade Historian. But it plays a Mountain into their own Lorehold Pledge Mage. They attack us for one. This is fine. We untap, draw Thrilling Discovery, play a Mountain, play Dueling Coach. 
counter here. Go to combat. Attack for three. Opponent plays a planes. See what they do. They play a second pledge mage. Okay. And they are going to attack us for three. That's fine. Go down to 16. I really hope they don't have a one red mana instant. If they do, we're probably just boned. Play Blade Historian. Go to combat. The good news is, even if they can um, block here and trade, we still get to keep our other creature. It doesn't matter which creature they block. It'll at least be a trade. Make your mark. Okay, that is less good. Because they do get a 3-2 out of the deal. But they're taking 4. Alright. Opponent takes 4. They untap. I would really like to draw the plus 3, plus 1 and trample. Opponent is going to attack us for 6. No blocks. I really hope they don't have study break. That is super bad. I think that probably means we lose. Okay, we untap. We draw eager first year. Hmm. God. I might just have to thrilling discovery show of confidence to make dueling coach big enough to actually block. But if they have another heated debate or they have the tap spell, we're in trouble. Go to combat. Attack for four. Take them to nine. They only have two cards left, so in theory they're running out of uh, running out of gas. Well, I mean they just drew a card for turn, so they have three cards left. Four mana. That's scary. Dueling coach. That is also scary. They pump the spirit, then get in with the spirit this turn. Mm-hmm. And the one, two. So we're taking five. Going to six. We untap. Draw Lorehold Apprentice. So play the Apprentice. Play the first year. Do we attack? If they have Make Your Mark, it would be a trade. And that would be bad. It would not be a trade. It would be better than a trade. I think we have to attack. I should have attacked first before playing my creatures, but... Okay, they're going to double block. We are... We're going to try and kill the Pledge Mage. Okay, they're actually trading. Okay, they untap. If my opponent has Make Your Mark, we lose, because they just give the Spirit flying and we can't block. Ugh. We have to double block here. This is so bad. For so many reasons. Okay, mm we're basically just dead. Yeah, alright. Gah! I made some questionable decisions that time around, I think, but opponent's deck was better than ours. So, all right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this Strixhaven draft. If you did, please leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel if you're so inclined. And remember, you can follow me on Twitch. Same username over there as you find me on here. I stream Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, though the last few have been earlier. And if you want to hang out with uh, myself and other people, Bruin Dex, and uh, in general having magic-related fun, please, there's a link in the description below. Join the Discord. It's open to everybody. And uh, it's a ton of fun. And if you want to support the channel more directly, there's also a link to the Patreon in the description below. Even a dollar really, really helps. Um, anyway, I want you to know that you're all wonderful human beings. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hey, just wanted to give a shout out to my patrons for the month of May. If you want to support my channel directly and have your name show up in this list, there's a link to my Patreon in the description down below. Thank you all.